Hi, Eric. Um, people will talk about fourth quarter, Jimmy, again, and rightly so, but there was so much more to it than that. How important in the grand scheme of things was it to continue all the progress that you saw at the end of the trip? A lot of that carried over in, into tonight. How important was all that? Yeah, it was a, a solid team win. You know, everybody that, that played really uh, contributed at, at different points in the game. Uh, and then Jimmy's game was the quintessential all-around winning basketball game. Uh, I can't believe he couldn't have gotten two more rebounds. I had to seal it. Uh, that, that would have been really fitting. But, you know, that, that's a really good team on the other side. And, and the speed and quickness that they have, you know, particularly defensively, uh, you can get jammed up on some possessions and you need great players you know, to be able to make, make plays down the stretch. And that's what Jimmy did. You know, they switched, they, uh, we didn't have a whole lot open and he was just able to, to, to make some plays. And obviously uh, Bam's uh, offensive rebound uh, was big as well. Um, they're, they're, I mean, you're, you're right. Toronto is good and they have been playing you know, a lot better and there's still a long way to go, obviously yeah. in the season. Do, do you feel like the corner has been turned or can you even let yourself go there? No, you never feel like you've arrived. We just have to keep keep on grinding and working. You know, we feel like we're getting healthier. We feel like we've made some progress just in terms of building some better winning habits, doing it more consistently. Uh, Toronto feels the, the same way. Both teams, you know, had to deal with the different things and you know, neither team is where, they, where we want to be. You know, at this point, it, it was a Super highly competitive game. Um, you know, we knew we were going to have to play well and do it. You know, for the for the duration, however long that that was going to be, uh, we just have to keep on, um, you know, committing to getting better. Thank you. Uh, next, we have Ira Winderman. Eric, this seems almost like a question I've been asking every game during the winning streak. Uh, you're up comfortably, up 15, then 11. They get within two, but your team finds a way then to hold them off. Again, the resilience of there are going to be those moments, but what does it say about this team? It's probably even now three or four games where, unlike really since the Golden State game, you have made a stand. Yeah, look, you have a lot of learning moments during during the course of the season. You can even go back to the Washington and Charlotte game. We took a lot from those games um, and learned and, and committed to try to be better uh, against you know, the majority of the teams uh, in the league, uh, you have a double digit lead. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to, to compete and play a, a complete game. There's going to be ebbs and flows and runs uh, both ways. Uh, you just have to stay the course, uh, do what you do and do it consistently. Um, and we were fortunate, you know, when they did get it to two, we ended up getting some stops that gave us a little bit of more breathing room. And then Jimmy obviously made some big plays down the stretch. That that always tends to make you look good when great players can make make some plays. Eric, I know it's tough for a coach to use their only challenge in the first half, but that really was a big play. The Kelly block charge. It gave Siakam his fourth foul there. How yeah. tough is it for you to have to burn it that early? And what yeah. were your thoughts on There's that? There's so many so many decisions uh, you have to make now with with that. Uh, that was going to be Ko's third foul. That was also a swing play with Siakam. Um, so there, there are a lot of different factors I, I don't typically like to, um, but, you know, by, by whatever means necessary, really, at, at this point, if, if they overturned it, you know, it, it might have been a wasted time out, you know, there. Thank you, Eric. Um, next, we have uh, Anthony Chang. Hey, so I, I know Toronto made a lot of threes tonight, but besides that first quarter, what did you like about the defensive performance tonight and just the way the defense is functioning here over the past month or so, just pushing teams further and further out to the three-point yeah, line? Limiting look, it, the room. You, can, you can see visually the commitment to more multiple efforts. It's hard to guard in this league. It, it really is. Night in, night out, uh, the level of skill, shooting, spacing, uh, players' ability to draw fouls, uh, it is extremely complex. Uh, you have to be sharp in the mind. You have to be, you have to develop a, a level of trust that doesn't happen overnight. Uh, you have to have some mental fortitude uh, to withstand, you know, different things. And then 
by all means, you have to make multiple efforts. There's just no way around it. Um, and they made some really tough threes. There was one Van Fleet shot. I was at the hash and he was standing right next to me. Um, you know, we're, we're screaming and yelling, you get, get all the way out there now to, to 30 feet, but that's that's the way this, this league is. So next we have uh, Cooper Moorhead. I suppose zone has been a little up and down this season, but I'm guessing part of the reason it was more effective tonight was because you got to use Jimmy Bam and, and Andre together at the same time. Uh, obviously, Jimmy and Andre hit some shots to, to grease the wheels to that lineup a little bit, but what did you like of the minutes between those three? Uh, well, just a lot of experience and um, competitive toughness and, and IQ uh, with the three of them. They, they uh, got a great feel for how to, to win. You know, that matters uh, in this league and you can't, you can't put uh, a, an analytic on that necessarily. Um, so it, it, it's more than the scheme. It, it, it's really the commitment to do tough things, you know, defensively. And those guys, the, those guys are winning players. All right, coach. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.